Have you ever really wanted a plugin, but the thing that stopped you from purchasing it was you didn't know whether it was gonna sound like that when you used it because you have maybe inferior gear or you think this person's better at mixing so it's not gonna work the same for you? Well, I know you do because I see it down in the comments all the time. Today, I wanna try something a little bit different and what I did was I went and got the cheapest microphone that I could find when I went out to the store. And what I ended up with is this thing called the On Air Reverb Pro. Um, I'm a Reverb Pro myself. I go on there all the time and get crazy, amazing deals. I picked this up and it was $15. This microphone came with a condenser mic, a shock mount, a stand, a cables, all that stuff for 15 bucks. So people usually say, oh, I can't get stuff sounding good with a SM57 or a 7B. I'm gonna take it to the lowest of the low and let's see what happens. We're gonna be trying out a bunch of different examples. I'm gonna do this with low vocals. I'm gonna do it with some falsetto stuff and we're gonna see how this thing actually holds up against a U47. I'm just kidding, a Flea 47. But that's still like a $3,000 microphone. We're gonna check this out, see how it compares and we're gonna use nothing but Howard Benson vocals on the entire vocal chain. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and once and for all I'll put to bed whether or not you can get something usable out of something that's cheap. So what's happening fam? Miami here with JST and I too have used cheap gear. Maybe not $15 cheap, but you know, something on the lower end of the scale. I think today is gonna to be a very interesting test because if I can get something even usable for $15, on a USB microphone, then there's just no excuse for anyone anymore. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's pop this thing open and see what's inside. What do we get? Come on, 15 bucks, show me the money. Okay, little manual here. Wow, this, this thing comes with a, with a lot of stuff. Shocking, right? See, just a little shock mount there. Oh. Little little table desk stand for it. Let's see, pop this thing. I might actually use this thing. Like I might actually keep this part of it, even if I don't use the rest of the microphone. Or maybe I'll you know give it to somebody on the channel that uh, that comments or something. I don't know. Um, yep, typical typical little mic stand. We got an XLR cable here and a USB plug trying to plug my own channel, so make sure you subscribe. Transition game's still crazy. Um, let's see, and uh, and of course the microphone that feels rather cheaply made, says on air on it. Um, I'm definitely gonna floss this for any clients that come in. All right, so let's see how this thing actually sounds. Yeah, so let's hop right into this. I think this is gonna be interesting, checking out this $15, uh, this $15 mic here versus a Flea U47. That mic runs a little over $3,000. And we'll be doing this on a few different examples. Um, we'll do it on a falsetto vocal on a pop song that, that I made a beat for. We'll do it on a pop punk song with, with low vocals. Uh, and then we'll do it on the same song but with with more of like a, a belting kind of thing because I feel like those uh, those cheap microphones typically can't handle when you're pushing like a high SPL towards it. So let, let's see what happens. Let's see if my voice distorts. Let, 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 let's have fun with it. Cause every time I turn around, I see you in the underground. Cause every time I turn around, I see you in the underground. All right, I want you to pay attention to one thing on that $15 mic though, on the falsetto part. Notice how like when I do every time, like on the word time, like listen to how strange it picks that vocal up. And then when I say, I see you in the I see, it's like, I can see you. Like it pulls up all the nastiness from my voice and the U47 kind of smoothed that out. But then again, you put it into a mix and it wasn't really that big of a deal. So definitely usable once again. All right, so after going through that um, on the falsetto mic, um, 
that thing is noisy, right? Like it's very noisy. You know, you could RX that out. I was actually surprised that you were able to get that much quality out of it though for $15. I mean, how much was the mic? If you take away all the other things, the shock mount, the, you know, the cables and all that stuff, that mic's what, like $5? So, you know, it was definitely usable. And, uh, you know, I would say Howard Benson vocal saved the day. Yeah, let's test it out on a, on a lower vocal. Let's Let's hop into that. Think back to the times we used to spend. Think back to the times we used to spend. I hope that we get there again. I hope that we get there again. Okay, after hearing it on the lower vocal, you know, still noisy, but I would say it held up a little better here uh, than it did during the falsetto part. Still, a $15 mic is gonna sound like a $15 mic. Once again, though, could definitely be used in a song. Like, I could get away with this. I, I, I promise you, I could definitely make this thing work if I absolutely had to. So, there's no more excuses from people. I don't wanna hear any excuses. So let's see what happens uh, with the belting and see if that kind of makes the mic just give up. Buckle up for a long drive home. Buckle up for a long drive home. Crash course to an all-time low. Crash course to an all-time low. Please do not forget me. Please do not forget me. All right, so that mic didn't do great on the belting. However, I will say that with the plug-in on, the distortion that was happening from that mic actually added a little something to the vocal, you know, going into Howard Benson vocals. That was actually pretty dope. So I would say, obviously, you know, every single time we're gonna we're gonna choose that U47, the, the flea one, but this is more than usable, you know? I Everyone always has so many excuses as to why they can't get a good sound, and I just don't see it anymore. If this mic is $15, I guarantee you a $50 mic is definitely gonna be usable. Who knows, that might be that might be something for down the road. Let's check it out on one more thing though. I'm gonna do it on a part where I sing a high note and let's see if it completely falls apart on the high note. All right, yeah, let's let's do that now. Every time that I check my phone, I've never felt so alone. I never felt so alone. Please do not forget me. Please do not forget me. Once again, uh, you know, it broke up a little bit, wasn't the greatest thing, but you put it in that mix and it starts sounding fine, right? Because when you have a really good vocal chain, it can actually start to fix a lot of the problems that you're having. My biggest issues all throughout this thing were you could hear a lot more of the, the and the like in the in the vocals when I was singing on the tracks and you didn't really hear any of that hardly on the U47 so that is definitely something to look out for but don't let prices and expensive gear be something that stops you from you know making a great song so after going through that test obviously the three thousand dollar microphone sounds better duh but that fifteen dollar mic was still usable if i used rx on the vocals it would take away a ton of the noise that was inside of it i mean you would actually be able to use this and get a semi-pro sounding track for fifteen dollars imagine if you spent fifty dollars why has everyone always got to be so cheap? I mean, out here, $15 won't even buy you a salad sometimes. I live in LA, don't stalk me. I will say one thing for the plugin though, they really nailed it because even on a $15 mic, they still got something really usable. Shout out to Joey, shout out to Howard, amazing work. And now, instead of worrying about whether you have a $3,000 microphone, just make good music. If I inspired you to write something, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, you only have to do it one time. And tap that bell for notifications so when a video drops, you know the location. Until next time, I'm out of here. Mic drop! Except, as engineers we know, I would never really drop this thing. Then again, I did just drop this thing with Rudy Ayub in the last video. Make sure you check it out, it's pretty hilarious. Later!